Hey! Welcome to my channel. There was a Star Wars one that I used to like that turned you into Poe Dameron. That was pretty cool. Oh, I got these love goggles right here. Hold on, let me let me put them on. <laughs> yeah, in case you were wondering, this is not really me. This is not how this is not how I look. Um, hey, nice to see everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome to my to my channel. Um, yeah. This isn't me either, but this is real time augmented reality just using my phone. Now you can look like however you want to look like. You can change your hair color, change the shape of your nose, your mouth, anything. It's absolutely incredible what you can do with these tools. In my new graphic novel monitor, I talk a lot about augmented reality. In the not so distant future, all people have augmented reality built right into their eyes. And so they're using augmented reality all of the time and most people never turn it off so they don't even know what reality is actually. Uh, they've never seen what the real street looks like. They might not have ever seen their real face. So reflection and identity and understanding who we are and how we become human, that's a major theme of Monitor. And now augmented reality is everywhere. It's cheap. Uh, you saw last week I did a tutorial on this Project Black Sky cover. It only took me like two seconds to make that augmented reality cover. I'm a complete newbie, so I was looking around at other people who have used AR. So there's this one comic book, Modern Palaxis, uh, that looks really, really cool. The comic book completely comes to life with the app. Uh, definitely check it out. They've really done some fantastic stuff. Uh, using the technology that's available. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I think this is kind of the wave of the future. I think in the coming years, there's going to be more and more AR as the phones get better and lighter and as the goggles, Google Glass, and these headsets become lighter and cheaper and more comfortable to wear. Uh, this is going to be everywhere in comics and all different forms of art. Another really cool AR comic book is called Neon Wasteland. They had a Kickstarter not long ago. They'll be kickstarting another one. They've got a game. Uh, they got animation. And it's really cool. I think the AR actually allows you to make some choices in the game, like a make your own choose venture kind of thing. Uh, but definitely check that out. They've got their own website, their own app. Uh, it looks really, really cool. So what I did is I just went to all different AR platforms. And so after going to iJack, I went to Artivive. That's the next one that I checked out. What I tried to do is recreate that Project Black Sky cover with different uh, software and different tools. With Artivive, you basically just upload your target image, upload your video file, and then when the app finds your target image, it plays the video. So it's really straightforward, actually more simple than iJack. But iJack was really nice in that you could add that sequence of images and create an animation. This is even more simple. Once you get past those two, there are a ton more that are way more complicated. So the next one that I looked at was Vuforia. I was way out of my depth here. Uh, like I said, I'm a complete newbie. I just I went on, I created accounts really quick and tried to recreate this Dark Horse Comics Project Black Sky cover that I made. Um, the basic concept is the same, right? You, you upload a target image and then you add on what other animation that you want. But all the next programs that I'm going to show you have all sorts of way more complicated features. You can add 3D, you can add buttons. Um, most of them have green screen and blue screen capabilities. So another one that I looked at was Roar. Um, R-O-A-R, -R, and same thing, you pick, your, uh, you pick your target image, and then you upload the animation. But again, you can do 3D models, uh, you can do animation, you can you know, add all sorts of text, audio, 3D stuff, buttons. Uh, it's really, really advanced, which is great if you know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing, so I liked all the features. I liked that there were all these social media buttons and all this kind of cool stuff. But I not only did I not know how to use them really well, but also um, my computer, which is pretty powerful, was really, really being pushed to the limit. So this is Plug XR, and what you've got to do is actually um, 
to use plug XR, you've got to have one of those other developer kits. So if you have a free one, you can choose a free one, but uh, plug XR seems to be like kind of an envelope, and then you've got to use some other AR developer kit to actually get it working. This thing looked super powerful. I mean, there were so many features in here, I, I don't even know where to begin. I stuck Bambi here on top of the comic book cover, so when the camera sees the Project Black Sky uh, comic book cover, it's going to put a little deer on top. Um, it was really cool, but really complicated, and unlike the other programs that, like the iJack and Artivive, um, where everything was like size perfect, if you had everything set up in advance, if you had the size all perfect, then it would just make it. It would just set up the animation for you. This, I had to resize everything. I had to line everything up perfectly. It's definitely not user friendly. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is Spark AR. Uh, this one is from Facebook, so I think it's going to be huge in the future. I think it's going to take off uh, because everyone's going to be using their smartphone for augmented reality for the foreseeable future, and everyone's got Facebook on their phone. So Spark AR lets you make these. Uh, AR interactive items. Um, you know, there's tons of tutorials, which is really cool. But again, there's a steep learning curve. It's not easy. There's a lot to dig into. There's a lot to dive into. There's a ton that this can do, but there's a lot to learn. Hopefully this was informative and entertaining. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. And in the comments, let me know what other tutorials you'd like me to do, and I'd be happy to, to try them out. Uh, let's go back to young because, oh, there we go. That's much better. I like this a lot better. <laughs> hey, uh, I haven't looked like this in a long time. Uh, do a little bit of yoga, go to the clubs, have fun, let's do some drop shipping, do some 3D printing. <laughs> hey, there we go. It's pretty cool. We're going to end with that one. <laughs>